and the steal number for Andre Drummond. And when you see the tumble his steal totals have taken the last few years, you, you can see that he's gotten away from playing the kind of gritty, hard-nosed D he was known for. That, that's an aspect of his game he needs to get back. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Rudy Gobert is now a three-time Defensive Player of the Year. And he says that award is about making your team better. A lot of things you don't see in the stats. If you play good defense, most of the time you don't get a block because it doesn't reach that point. They don't even come inside. Guys, the lane is closed. <laughs> he is an intimidating factor for sure. David, thanks. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. Mitchell in at the two with Bogdanovich at small forward. O'Neal at the four while Gobert stands tall at the five. And it's Conley in at the point. And looking at the Nets, Bruce Brown is out there with Durant. Then there's Andre Drummond. Then it's Curry. And it's Dragic in at the point guard. And late in the season, we see playoff teams, Greg, resting their star players. Any excuse for lottery teams doing the same thing? <laughs> Not as far as the league is concerned. If they're healthy, what's the goal? Throwing away games is, is not acceptable. Conley finds Gobert. Pass to Mitchell. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Just look at the way Mitchell's built. The strength in the upper body. Bogdanovich against Dragic. Outside Curry. Shot clock at six. Back to Dragic. Knocks it loose and stolen by Bogdanovich. To the inside, Mitchell. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bogdanovich willing to get it to his open guys. The pass to Drummond. Here's Durant, and then Durant with the jam. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big time move and a big time finish. And Gobert kicks to Mitchell. Conley against Dragic to the middle. Here's Gobert. Plays it up and banks it in. Grown man strength right there by Rudy Gobert. Fending off the defense on the way up. Agic against Kump. Outside for Curry. Six to shoot. Pass to Drummond. Over Conley. And too long on the shot. Brooklyn Nets come into this one after a win against the Trailblazers. Bogdanovich up top. He's covered by Brown. They get the rebound. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Back to Gobert. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Gobert's got his second bucket. And the 6'8 Boyan Bogdanovich consistently among the league's top three-point marksmen. You're right, Kevin. Consistent is the right word. Listen to this. Since his fourth season in the NBA, he's never averaged below 38% from distance. That shot must be honored. Here's Conley. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. The drive by Mitchell. Tries yet again. And it's finished off inside by Gobert. Gobert's got six points. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Pass to Drummond. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Curry is inside. Covered by Mitchell. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Right now, let's check out the standings in the Eastern Conference and see how the playoff race is shaping up. You look at the Nets. They're holding the edge for the last playoffs. I am sure they'd feel better if they could jump up a couple rankings. Well, I think for Brooklyn, they've been strong at times this season, but they still have some holes. I think they're a playoff caliber team. I just don't think they're a championship 
caliber team. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out, but they're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. Here's Brown following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Nuggets looking it over. Outside Curry. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Now Drogic. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Outside Durant. No good on the triple. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Shots good by Mitchell. Oh, great ball movement there. Nets trail by 10. Trogic with it. Conley picks him up to the paint. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Defensive foul. Flexing the power. Drummond takes the hit, finishes through it. Lentichio and one. Second team And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Jazz. They've gotten a lot of high-quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. And the other thing, though, is their execution in terms of their ball movement has been flawless. Sets up a lot of easy scoring opportunities. Free throw, no good for Drummond. A nightly double-double machine. Andre Drummond gives you reliable production. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Conley. This is what we talk about, valuing each possession Avoiding those kinds of mistakes. Brooklyn trailing. Dragic with it. Nine point game is last outing. Here's Durant. And then Durant with the jam. Wow, the skills at his size. Durant makes a number of moves every game that just leaves you shaking your head. Now, here's O'Neal. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And then Mitchell with the dunk. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Here's KD. Six points for him. And no good. Gobert with the defensive effort. O'Neal passes to Conley. High post, Gobert. Kicks it to Mitchell. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. KD passes to Kirk. And it's Drummond with the jam. With the flexibility to adjust at the rim, Drummond can catch the pass almost anywhere and still throw it down. Conley dishes to Mitchell. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Mitchell's got 14 points for the game. They have leaned on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. And the first time out right. called of the game for Brooklyn. And you look at Mike Conley's game, just a steady floor general and deadly accurate as a shooter. And Greg, I'm not sure he gets enough credit for how he competes on the defensive side. At 6-1, he's given up size on a nightly basis, but he won't let you pick on him. He gets after you. Marcus Aldridge is checked in for Brooklyn. Taking a look at some stats for Dragons. How his last 10 games have gone. Averaging about seven points, five assists, and two rebounds. Nothing about his numbers really jump out at you, but he'll come up with a timely play or two every game. He understands his role. He accepts it. He's one of those guys who doesn't need the ball to be effective. And Katie, here we go. Outside Dragic. Aldridge kicks to Kerr. Down to five on the shot clock. His first shot coming late. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Jazz leading by 10. Here's O'Neal. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. 
Back to Conley. There's the three. Buries the long-range jumper. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Rockets the pass to KD. Inside. And Aldrich the basket on the assist by Durant. The playmaking skills of Kevin Durant on display. Capable of whipping passes to open teammates. Mitchell passes to Gobert. Conley dishes to Mitchell. Rebounded by the Nets. Fresh from a win against Portland. Yeah, they got into a terrific flow offensively, but a lot of that was because the defense they were facing was mediocre. Yeah, it seemed like they got every shot they wanted. I'm sure they wish every game could be that way. Now here's Dragic following the miss by Donovan Mitchell. And good that time. Bouncing off defenders like a pinball, something we see from Dragic almost every night. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Utah. They have a nine-point lead. Last time they met was in Utah. Not a close contest either. The last time they got together, everyone in the rotation played solid, and the bench was the difference. Great scoring output from that second unit. Such a luxury to have that extra ammunition. Aldridge finds Dragic. A baseline J. Conley grabs the miss. Jazz leading by 11. Dragic grabs the board. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Curry with it. Conley picks him up. Curry passes to Aldridge. Gobert with the block. The wingspan of Gobert is huge, and he uses it so well to deny shooters. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Timeout. Timeout called the Nets. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Different look for Utah. Eric Pasco, he's checked in for Royce O'Neal. Gay comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Clarkson in for Mike Conley. Pass to Mills. Into the lane. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. One of the best standstill shooters in the league. Mills getting better at scoring off the dribble. Now, here's Mitchell. Tight defense on him. Gobert. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Gobert's got eight points. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Man, he has come out focused and efficient. Love what he's doing at the offensive end. Larson outside. And the Jazz, another three. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Mills passes to Thomas. That's tipped and out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. And here we can check out the story for Jordan Clarkson. And guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. Now, here's Mitchell. He's got 16. First quarter. Back to Clarkson. Gobert trying to get open. 
They shoot again. And Clarkson with the nice bucket inside. He has five. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Durant dishes to Thomas. No good that time. Good work defensively by Gay. He gets it in there. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Mills passes to KD. Can they get it? Back to Mills. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Utah leading by 18. Down low. Here's Pascal. Great pass to set up the lay-in. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Now, here's Mills. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Releases from 15, and he wills that one in. Sending right through off the back iron. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Clarkson looking for an opening. With some arc. Got a piece of it. There's the pass to Mills. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Durant against Pascal. Durant, the pass to Sharp. Clock at six. The shot, no good. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Utah out in front. They finish off the first quarter on a 15-6 run. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And the 2021 Sixth Man of the Year winner, Jordan Clarkson, excelling in his role under coach Quinn Snyder in the Utah Jazz. It's been good for me. From day one, they told me to come here and be myself, playing free with a free mind and, you know, trying to help us get wins. And Clarkson really finding his niche, providing Greg instant scoring off the Utah bench. And there's tremendous value in a player who can create his own shot and really carry a second unit. With Clarkson's quickness, so tough to bottle him up. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, the Jazz enjoying a nice lead here. Boy, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. Thomas is out there with Mills. And it's Durant. Then it's James Johnson. And it's Claxton in at the center filling out the middle. That's the Nets five as we get into the second quarter. Here's Mills. Hassan Whiteside made his last pass. Mills can't hit. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. And Steve, a second rounder back in the 2014 draft out of Missouri, Jordan Clarkson with a productive NBA career. Yes, Kevin, and he's always been a bucket. What has changed is the shot selection. A lot more threes and terrific free throw shooting, making him a great bench weapon. Now Thomas, after Jordan Clarkson missing on that last three-pointer. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Donovan Mitchell is a force offensively, of course, but he knows there's room for work at the other end. He said, I feel the need to really get after it defensively and show that. I watch film on every person I'm guarding. Defense travels. Offense comes and goes. Guys, back to you. He's never satisfied, and I love that about him, D.A. Thanks. Now, Gabe. 
Following the three-point attempt by James Johnson, Gay finds Pascal. Over Mills. Off the left rim and out. Nets trail by 20. Back to KD. Now here's Mills. There's the triple. Rebound by Alexander Walker. Jazz leading by 20. Here's Pascal. And slam dunk by Pascal. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Durant. Count that one. Durant's got four points in the quarter. And the shooting has really been there for him today, but he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. Now, here's Clarkson. 20 points for him last game against the Clippers. And what opened things up for him was his passing. He was making so many plays that the D had to play off him. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. The Jazz have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Pasco, the pass to Alexander Walker. Position out to Gay. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Gone are the days of high, high usage, but Gay is still a valuable role player. He's a natural athlete, G.A., who still has some burst left. Rudy Gay picks his spots a little more now, but remains a tough cover when he's on the attack. No good on that one. You know, Steve, we're in this era of wide open, up-tempo style. How much fun would you have playing right now? Kevin, it would have been a blast. The floor spacing gives you so many options offensively, and you can take a whole bunch of threes. However, at the defensive end, in my era, you couldn't hand check. So now it would have been a lot of work. And he sinks the second. A really solid shooter once he gets to the line. And Rudy Gay has gotten to the line a lot in his career. Now here's Brown. 17 points for him last game against Portland. And don't forget about the work he did on the boards. His rebounding was a huge help in that game. And Bogdanovich throws it down. Finding a man wide open, Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. Passes it to Mills. Back to Curry. Feeds to Griffin. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Smitty, inevitable that a player's physical gifts may diminish over the years. But one thing about Blake Griffin that will never go away is his leadership ability. I totally agree. He's one of the most respected players in the NBA, and that will continue even after his playing days are over. First one falls for him. You know it's interesting. Blake has increased his shooting range but that hasn't really carried over to the free throw line. Marcus Aldridge has checked in for Brooklyn. Rogic comes in for Patty Mills. And Utah with a change here, too. Royce O'Neal's checked in for Rudy Gay. Blake Griffin hits them both. Jazz leading by 19 points. Conley the pass to O'Neal. Conley against Dragic. Pass to Whiteside. Six on the shot clock. Here's O'Neal. The shot missing. The Nets go the other way with it. And here's Griffin. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Aldridge finds Dragic. Dragic. 
Utah with the rebound. 22 is their biggest lead. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Uh, they played terrific defensively. The few cracks they showed, guys were quick to rotate and help each other out. I love the communication, love the hustle. They came up with big stops all night. Here's Griffin after the basket by Utah. Griffin draws the double. Dragic with a wide open look. A three-pointer no good. Jazz leading by 21. No one near Conley as he lets it go. Right side. He's off on that one. And Brooklyn will come the other way. On the wing. Curry can't get it to go. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Conley kicks to Bogdanovich. Pass to Conley. Now the pass to Alexander Walker. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. That one's not going to go. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Outside Dragic. Curry looking around. Dragic against Conley. Dragic left side. Rebound, Utah. O'Neal's got rebound number five here tonight. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Right side, no good. Nets trail by 21. Outside Curry. He feeds it to Griffin. Outside Dragic. Back to Griffin. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's Alexander Walker. He's guarded by Dragic. Outside Conley. With the floater, it's hauled in by Brown. Nets shoot just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. Curry on the wing, guarded by O'Neal. Here's Aldridge, and the Nets miss again. Jazz leading by 21. O'Neal dishes to Conley. To the inside, and stolen by Aldridge. Curry on the wing. Here's Griffin. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Griffin's got four points this quarter. The more Blake Griffin gets comfortable at the mid-range, the more dynamic this offense becomes. Conley, the pass to Whiteside. Passes it to Alexander Walker. Five to shoot. Utah needs to get off a shot here. Conley's shot is off. Nets trail by 19. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Griffin finds Aldridge. Over O'Neal. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Aldridge has got his second bucket of the game to go. Utah has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Rockets against Conley. Launches it. Buries it from three-point range. Conley's got eight points. And Mike Conley can do this now. He can play off the ball and punish the defense for giving him space. Dragic, and that one is good. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams.
different look for Utah. Rudy Gobert comes in for Hassan Whiteside. And it's Mitchell in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Nice ball movement by Utah. Dragic against Conley. Curry dishes to Dragic. Here's Sharp. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Dragic. Shot clock at five. And here is Drummond, covered by Mitchell. And it's Drummond missing. Jazz leading by 18. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Mitchell. Releases. Rebound, Brooklyn. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Curry passes to Drummond. One forty-six left in the first half of the game. Here's Dragic from outside. The offensive rebound goes back up. And it's Drummond missing. Utah's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Gobert finds Bogdanovich. Outside Conley. Oh, good with the triple. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Curry passes to Sharp. Drummond dishes to Dragic. And Curry has it in the corner. Over Gobert. The rebound by Mitchell. Utah leading by 18. Inside. And slam dunk by Gobert. Because he attracts so much defensive attention, Donovan Mitchell often finds teammates all alone. Rockets against Cump. And he finishes nicely on the way. Rogic has got four points now in the quarter. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Drummond working against Mitchell. Good again. He's on tonight. Nine for 13 shooting. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. The pass to Dragic. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists in the game. Got to run the clock and wait for the last shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? For three, Mitchell, and he's good on the three ball. Mitchell's got 21 in the game. When Donovan Mitchell gets fired up, you better watch out. We know he's capable of having a big night. And so it's the Utah Jazz with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. With Quinn Snyder, with Rudy Gobert a mainstay for your team, what is he giving you? Well, he's been so consistent. He's offensive rebound and just keeping plays alive and a uh, little bit of everything. He's playing well. And that means good things for your squad, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Donovan Mitchell was on fire in the first half. He had 21 points, four assists, and one rebound. He's been a different player than he was in their last outing when he was off his game. He's rounded back into form tonight. What did you think about Utah, Kenny? Their control of the boards is a big reason for this lead. Seems like it might have been their game plan coming in. Send multiple guys to the rim when the shot goes up. And over to Shaq, what do you think about Brooklyn? Well, they need to change their strategy. We can see that. Jacking up three-pointers left and right, getting the 
of them contestants go from deep range just isn't the way to play basketball, fellas. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It's been one outstanding game from Donovan Mitchell. You know, I don't think he'll top the assist charts this year, but early on, he's done a great job of keeping the ball hopping around. And some of it's just a mindset. He came into this game with a very unselfish approach, and his teammates have benefited from it. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. So on the floor for Utah, Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. Avdia and Hachimura in the forward positions. And it's Gobert in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here is Conley after the miss from Goran Dragic. Bogdanovich against KD. On the wing, Mitchell. From deep. Can't get it to drop. His fifth miss. He's made 10 of 15. And here's Curry who brings it up for Brooklyn. And one thing about Donovan Mitchell, Steve, he is always learning, always evolving. Yes, he is, Kevin. Devours film. Seeks advice from other star players. And he's not afraid to get out of his comfort zone. He has ambition for greatness. It's good. He may never lead the league in assist totals, but Dragic is a willing distributor. Mitchell with it, and Curry picks him up defensively. Mitchell kicks to Conley. Gobert down low. Curry meets him, and he gets it to go. Gobert's got 12 in the game. A much more physical player now than when he first entered the league. Gobert powering it home. Durant dishes to Dragic. Outside Curry. Here's Drummond. A rebound by the Jams. O'Neal's got seven rebounds in the game. The drive by Mitchell. And he makes that one. Mitchell's got 23. The strength of Donovan Mitchell going downhill off contact, able to muscle it through. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Mitchell against Curry. To the middle, here's Drummond, and it's Drummond with the jam. The agile feet of Drummond. He's like a dancing bear out there. Nice roll off the pick. Mitchell against Dragic. Mitchell passes to O'Neal. Out to the right wing. Conley surveying the D. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. Here's Dragic from outside. O'Neal with the rebound. O'Neal's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Bogdanovich inside, defended by Durant. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. Now here's Dragic. He's got eight. Drummond passes to Curry. Outside Dragic. Looking to get back on track here. When you tried to defend this guy, Goran Dragic, you got to remember, he's a high-energy player. Those dudes, they tend to draw fouls. It's his first trip to the line. Yeah, he's at 81% from the line, and, and when we've had a chance to see him, he's had great form and, and continues to look confident. Throw good, Dragic. 
A rare bad trade by the San Antonio Spurs. Dragic was their second round pick in 2008. They traded his rights to the Suns for a player who didn't even make the roster. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Andre Drummond. Johnson comes in for Brown. And Thomas subbed in for Curry. And Gordon Dragic drops them both. Well, Greg, for those of us who have never played in the league, what's it like traveling all over the country over the course of a long regular season? Come on, Kevin. I bet you had a nice J back in the day. But seriously, it's a whirlwind tour, man. Sometimes you don't even know what city you wake up in. And I can tell you there have been many times where I've going back to the front desk complaining because my key didn't work and only to find out I was using the wrong key. Here's Claxton. Michael Conley making his last shot. Outside for KD. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Durant's got 16 points. Beautiful concentration from KD. Unwilling to let a little contact get in the way of his shot. Here's the floater. Mitchell's shot is good. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Durant dishes to Thomas. Johnson outside. Now Thomas still looking for his first bucket in this one. Jacks up a three. The shot by KD. No good. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. And stolen by Thomas. It's three on three on the fast break. Trying his luck from deep. That one doesn't drop. And it's Utah the other way. Next up for them, the Knicks, a road game in New York. Only just the second of seven away from home. That shot, Conley has perfected it. The little teardrop. to the wing right side. Conley against Dragic. Johnson outside. To the paint. Just five to shoot. Count it. Good. Allowed any room to operate. You know he's going to be aggressive. Jazz leading by 23. O'Neal kicks to Mitchell. Drives to the hoop. And then Mitchell with the dunk. If you're the defense, not much you can do. Donovan Mitchell had his mind made up. Bad intentions. Passes to Dragic. And it's Mike Conley with the rebound. Conley's got six rebounds now in the game. A three from Bogdanovich. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. One of the main weapons Bogdanovich brings, a dead-eye three-point shooter with impressive range. Dragic with it. He's got 10 down low. And he caught that pass and full stride on his way to the big slam. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. O'Neal passes to Mitchell. Gobert trying to get open, and that one's good, Mitchell. Mitchell's got 29. And here's Thomas who brings it up for the Nets. Pass to Dragic. Takes it inside. The rebound by Mitchell. Utah has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Bogdanovich, no luck. Brooklyn's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Here's Krogic. Gobert with the block. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Conley gets the bucket. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Jazz? Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. Yeah, but they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. Timeout called the Nets. Donovan Mitchell really making a difference here. Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. And your Brooklyn X.
Both teams deciding to change it up. While we have a break, we can see which teams have made the most of their second chance opportunities over the last 10 games. The fourth spot held by the Jazz. I mean, you love their aggressiveness, not settling for one shot offensively, but really running down those loose boards and, and converting for extra points. Now here's Durant. He's got 16. Pass to Sharp. Back to KD. Durant drawing the double team. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. And that one drops for him. Claxton's got six. Even double team. He had the vision to see the open man. To the middle. He can't get it to go. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Thomas. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. The Nets have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. Got the line two times. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Blake Griffin is checked in for Nicholas Claxton. And both free throws good for Thomas. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Here's Alexander Walker. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass goal. The pass to Alexander Walker. Can he converts the layup? Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Out to the wing. It's tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. Great energy on the deflection. And a good job disrupting their offense. This is called... An effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. And Utah making a change here. Whiteside's checked in. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. It's the Nets now. Outside Durant. Driving in. Thomas against Whiteside. On the clock. Shot on the wing. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Thomas got four points this quarter. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. The shot's good from Alexander Walker. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. For Brooklyn, they've gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the third quarter. Now, here's Mills. The pass to KD. Shoots over Clarkson. The shot by KD. No good. Utah's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Here's Alexander Walker. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And KD's got the ball here for the Brooklyn Nets. Griffin kicks to Thomas. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. They get Hassan Whiteside. The Nets have shot six or seven at the line. And team free throw numbers really about as good as you could ask for. Around 80% on the season. Two shots.
The first one falls. LaMarcus Aldridge is checked in for the Nets. Curry comes in for Kevin Durant. And both free throws good for Thomas. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Now, here's Clarkson. Seven points in the game. And it's sent back by Aldridge. I mean, showing great anticipation. Aldridge was all over that shot. The shot's good by Mills. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Here's Clarkson. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Alexander Walker passes to Whiteside. Offensive rebound. Shots good by Clarkson. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Outside Curry. Back to Mills. Good work defensively by Whiteside. Utah has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Curry kicks to Thomas. Here's the break. Clarkson for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Clarkson's got five points in the quarter. That's his second three-pointer of the night. One in each half. Trying to keep the defense honest. It's good. Perfect vision. Mills getting quicker these days at spotting the open man. Utah has gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Alexander Walker passes to Gay. At the elbow, it's Whiteside. Knocked loose. Mills with the steal. Griffin looking around. Passes it to Mills. With four seconds on the clock, and it's blocked by Whiteside. With that long wingspan, Hassan Whiteside saying, no, not in my house. It's Curry outside. Off target with that shot. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's the Jazz running away with it. Live from Brooklyn, New York, you're watching 2K Sports. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. The Jazz shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. Mills out there with Seth Curry. Then there's LaMarcus Aldridge. Then there's Edwards. And it's Drummond in at the center position. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Now, here's Pascal. The rebound by the Nets. Drummond's got four rebounds now tonight. Mills finds Curry. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. The Jazz making a switch here as the bookie is checked in. Utah with the ball. Gay with it. He's picked up by Drummond and stolen by Drummond. Edwards against Gay. Edwards drives in. And Edwards with the stuff. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Pass to Alexander Walker. From the arc, just five on the clock. The shot, no good. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the Nets. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. 
And he pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. Here's Alexander Walker. After the main shot from Andre Drummond. Here's Gay. The 19-footer is on the money. Boy, I'll tell you, from mid-range, Rudy's shot mechanics look effortless. It's Edwards on the wing. He kicks it to Aldrich. The Nets working the ball around now. The shot by Curry, no good. For Utah, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And there's Gay. That's good on the assist from Clarkson. Nice play. Gay with the quickness to get in close and the size to close the deal. Outside Edwards. Outside Aldridge. Back to Edwards. Pass to Mills. Here he goes. Good on the shot. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. The Jazz have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Alexander Walker passes to Clarkson as Abuki dishes to Clarkson. And Curry pulls it down. The Nets have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Smitty last year at the play-in tournament, the late season really heated up. Do you enjoy seeing teams work extra hard to secure their positions? Kevin, I loved it. There was no time to rest for those teams that wanted to fight their way out of the play-in. And like you said, at the end of the season, we had a lot of drama. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Now, here's Mills. Drummond in the post. He's covered by Azubuki. Kept alive. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. And it's sent back by Aldridge. Outside Curry. And stolen by Gay. The pass to Alexander Walker. There's the lob to the hoop. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley hoop. Azabuki against Curry. Kicks it to Mills. Five on the clock. Driving inside. Passes it to Gay. And here's Clarkson. He dishes it to Azabuki. Pass to Gay. Rebound, Brooklyn. Drummond's got six rebounds now in the game. Outside, Curry. Pass to Drummond. Outside Aldridge. He kicks it to Mills. Over as a bookie. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Nice conversion off the pick and roll. Patty with the right read takes it himself. How's the pass to get? Steve, you played four years at Michigan State with all the changes, including pro options for the top prospects. Do you worry at all about the college game? No, I don't worry about it. In some ways, having more players who stick around is a good thing, but I love the opportunity these young guys are getting. Continuity can lead to beautiful basketball. They just have to make adjustments. Now here's Curry. Drummond trying to get himself free, and it's Aldridge missing. Here is House, guarded by Kerr. The shot by House is no good. For Brooklyn, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, four of nine. And there's a whistle. That goes on Daniel House. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for Brooklyn. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Andre Drummond. Johnson comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Drogic in for Curry. Utah also making some changes. Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for Gay. And Mike Conley is subbed in for Jordan Clarkson. Now here's Mills. Outside Drogic.
There's the feed to Johnson. Over as Ibuki. And again, no good by Brooklyn. The Jazz shooting just 30% from the field here in the fourth. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. In basketball. Brooklyn's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And there's the pass to Johnson to the inside. Claxton misses the layup. Here's Alexander Walker, covered by Mills. And Greg, the league's in a great place for talent. So many incredible players just entering their primes. You excited where the league is right now headed? Oh, my goodness, Kevin. Guys like Devin Booker and Luka Doncic, Donovan Mitchell. I mean, the list goes on and on. And a lot of these youngsters carry in their teams to great heights. Impressive to watch. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. Here's Mills. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. A much different player here in the second half. He's taking advantage of what the defense allows. Conley, the pass to Hernan Gomez. Dishes it to House. Back to Hernan Gomez. And finish off by Hernan Gomez. Assist. I'd say that shot is well within his range. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> Hans best, Rogic. Johnson kicks to Edwards. Inside. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Team second. And Greg, you faced some exceptional point guards during your time in the league. But who was the toughest matchup for you when you played? Oh, man. You know, John Stockton was always one of the most difficult. But in a weird way, not because I worried about him scoring on me. It was because I had to defend his ability to make people better. And, and that was always a challenge and don't forget about the great penny hardaway i mean at six eight that that was a nightmare to deal with and my personal all-time favorite isaiah thomas who was as good as anybody's ever been at that league guard position here's alexander walker passes to hernan gomez it's hauled in by claxton nets have gone six to thirteen so just above 46 percent on their field goal attempts here in the court Dragic against the bucket oh the defense was physical on that play but Dragic has added strength over the years and able to complete the bucket here's alexander walker after the made shot from goran Dragic, and it's out of bounds the nets will take it the other way so both teams making some changes here And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Pass to Dragic. Bobbed up there for Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. No way Dragic misses that wide open man. He plays good heads up basketball. Mitchell outside. 
And Steve, you played in a different era. Do you look a little differently at all the hugs and handshakes between opposing players these days? No, not at all, Kevin. It's just totally different. These guys have been knowing each other for a long time, you know, with youth basketball. I think the competition on the court, it speaks for itself. So I think our game is still in good hands. Where well, everyone knows once Drummond gets anywhere around the rim, it's pretty much a done deal. Here's Gobert, and it's sent back by Drummond. To the inside. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Mitchell, feeling it out a bit, pass to Bogdanovich. Now Conley. He's guarded by Dragic. To the middle. Here's Mitchell. Rebounded by the Nets. KD on the wing. Offline with his three. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And Bogdanovich kicks to Conley. The Jazz working the ball around now. Bogdanovich passes to O'Neal. Laid in with a nice touch Boy, off the glass. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. And the Nets with possession here. After the basket by Utah. No good from Durant. Last two minutes to play. Fourth quarter. 156 left in the fourth quarter. Mitchell with it. Picked up by Brown. And it's Conley penetrating. Bogdanovich against Drummond. Clock at four. Here's Gobert. That falls. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Dragic against Conley. And here is Durant. Outside for Curry. No good from outside. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Jazz. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooters. Yeah, exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. And so checking out their season record, this game will become their 45th win. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and with one game left against this squad. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Donovan Mitchell. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. The pass to O'Neal. Mitchell against Curry. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. His first foul. I mean, a tough matchup. Donovan Mitchell is too explosive, too strong, and he's only going to get better. Yeah, the line with two shots. Free throw drops for Mitchell. Strong, athletic, aggressive. Mitchell puts maximum pressure on the defense every night. And Mitchell drops them both. We've got 28 seconds left in the game. Now Trogic. Pass to Claxton. Down low. Here's Sharp, and he uses both hands to jam it in. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. 
Dragic against Kump. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Rudy, your impact on the game defensively, always something to watch. What's your approach at that end? Just try to win games, you know, and uh, my teammates put it out trusting me, being aggressive on the balls and try to be aggressive at the rim. And, you know, when we play as a team like we do tonight, it's tough to beat us. You were in full stifle tower mode tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. So long.